With a look at your local headlines tonight, Maryland sets another vaccination milestone. More than 70,000 vaccinations were completed yesterday throughout the state. We're now averaging more than 55,000 doses a day. So far, nearly 2.7 million doses have been administered. And according to the CDC, Maryland is getting residents vaccinated faster than 33 other states. Meanwhile, Maryland recorded more than 1300 new cases in the last day of COVID-19. The positivity rate is slightly up at 5.3% in the last day. 13 more people have died, bringing that number up to just over 8,101. Right now, 1,030 people are in the hospital. Howard County police are still looking for the person who hit and killed a 17 year old girl the night after Halloween. They're offering a $5,000 reward for information. They say the driver of a dark sedan, small SUV or crossover killed nurse and Isabel Ayaki and left the scene. They were traveling east on Route 108, just east of Phelps Luck Drive. The car had or has front end damage, including the driver's side headlight. If you know anything, if you remember repairing a vehicle that matches this description, please contact police. Looks like more jobs are coming to Hartford County. Wayfair will open a distribution center at MRP Industrials Eastgate Logistics Park in Aberdeen. 1.2 million square foot facility will bring more than 250 new full time jobs over the next six years. It will also allow Wayfair to reach one third of the country's population overnight. Wayfair has more than 16,000 employees throughout North America and Europe. Rain chances lingering through the early morning and then I think we dry out. Then we'll be tracking mostly cloudy skies and unfortunately the drop in temperatures that come with the cold front into the 40s. I think we struggle to get into the upper 40s for daytime highs. Most locations will eventually hit 50 or 51 degrees. Unseasonably cool temperatures not only linger through the day tomorrow, but into your Friday. Combine that with the winds is going to be extra chilly. So make sure that you have that nice jacket here. Milder numbers for the weekend. Easter's looking pretty solid with a mix of sun and cloud with temperatures warming to the mid to upper 60s and then we're returning to the 70s as we head back to work next Monday. Rain chances return Tuesday and Wednesday. Stick with us online at WMAR2news.com all day for updates on our top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in your app store. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.